The crowds outside Hong Kong's Legislative Council swelled this afternoon after Chief Executive Carrie Lam seemed to ignore a 5 p.m. deadline set by protesters. They gave the government an ultimatum to respond to their demands by today, threatening to otherwise escalate their action. This could set off a new wave of demonstrations in the city as activists have pledged to surround government headquarters and LegCo tomorrow. Now for the latest, let's cross over to our correspondent, Roland Lim in Hong Kong. He's standing by outside the Legislative Council building. Roland, good to speak to you. What's been happening at the LegCo this evening then? We can see quite a few people gathered behind you. Yeah, the uh, ultimatum has come and gone. Reaction from the scores of protesters that are still here is that they're angry, they're disappointed, and some of them even say they're not at all surprised uh, by the uh, non-response uh, from the Carrie Lam administration. Uh, many of them here are likely to spend the night, uh, but some are also going back home to recuperate and then uh, start again at 7 a.m. That's the call for the next mass rally around a government headquarters here. Um, the no response from the Carrie Lam government uh, has already seen uh, Mrs. Lam responding to the two million strong uh, protesters on Sunday, which forced her to come out on Tuesday uh, to humbly apologize uh, to the public. And she feels that that's good enough. She says she's not resigning uh, because she has a lot more to do for Hong Kong. Uh, and that she has learned hard lessons uh, from uh, the introduction of this uh, extradition bill that she had intended uh, to push through. At the same time, uh, Police Commissioner Stephen Lowe has also backtracked on his characterization of the protests in Admiralty as rioting. But he is still insisting on charging uh, five uh, people that they've arrested because they have thrown bricks and metal rods at the police as rioters. So it looks like the protesters here are still demanding the same things. They still want these people uh, dropped uh, uh, charges, really, uh, dropped from the, the charges dropped from these five. They want uh, the characterization of the June 12th protest as rioting also to be stricken off. And of course, they are calling for the complete withdrawal of that extradition bill. Roland, while we know what they want, have they given a sense of how they're going to go about getting it? Is there a plan uh, based on the people you've been speaking to? Well, this is a largely leaderless uh, protest uh, action. It's, it's basically, uh, you know, anonymous postings on private chat groups, uh, messenger apps like uh, Telegram, calling for people to descend on the Legislative Council. That happened on June 12th. Uh, many fear that that's likely to happen again on Friday as well. Um, we do know who the main players are. There's the, uh, Hong Kong, the Human Rights, uh, Human Rights uh, Civil Front movement. They're made up of a coalition of NGOs, social workers, trade unionists, uh, pan-democratic legislators, uh, as well as, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, trade unions and social workers as well. Uh, the other uh, part of this protest groups are, of course, the student uh, protesters themselves. Uh, they are currently uh, being led by the Hong Kong Federation of Students Unions, who represents most of the major universities here in Hong Kong. Now, together, they are calling uh, for a peaceful rally, I should say, to descend uh, onto Tema. That's the site of the central government offices, as well as the Legislative Council building. They are also calling for citywide civil disobedience actions, which include a slow drive uh, blocking traffic, as well as disruptions to the main transport systems uh, during early rush hour by feigning injuries or intentionally blocking the door so that the trains don't depart from their stations uh, at regular intervals. All this really to uh, remind the public out there that they are still pushing ahead with their demands with the administration. Now, at the same time, the adults are worried, as I mentioned earlier on, student protesters here uh, outweigh the num uh, uh, basically the majority of the protesters that we've seen on the streets. Um, a parent group calling themselves Umbrella Parents had actually earlier on this afternoon made a plea to the uh, chief executive for her to accede to, to the 
protesters' demands because they fear that more violence may break out. Um, we also have a veteran activist and founder of the Democratic Party, Martin Lee. He's also urging for peaceful protests to take place because he says that the admiration of the world in mobilizing more than two million people might dissipate if violence does break out again. All right, that was uh, Roland Lim for CNA Live in Hong Kong.